after inputting three grades into your array student name, you decide that you now want to have 40 grades instead of 30. You decide to add the final line to your code segment. What happens? This will reassign student name to a new array of length 40, but not with the intended results. All elements automatically initialize to zero for numeric data types when an array is declared. The memory allocated for the contents of the old student name array is recycled and now garbage. All previous data stored is lost. There is no way to change the size of an array once it is declared without losing the data that it's holding. Later on in this course, we will learn about array lists, which are a different type of array that do allow us to change the size as we go. However, for now, we will be working with regular arrays, which cannot be resized without starting over from scratch.